Hello, I am Deniz Emrah Baykal from Istanbul Kemal Burgaz University. I'm going to present my study on pharmacy students' perception of communication skills course completed in 2015 and 2016 academic years. First of all, let's start with effective communication in health sciences. Employing effective oral communication skills in health sciences has been given much attention as one of the major concerns of more accurate and healthier interactions in various health environments, mainly in the Western countries. But when it comes to Turkey, and specifically to the field of pharmacy, Apparently, it's one of the major issues to be focused on by all healthcare providers, primarily pharmacists, as they are being the professional leading and guiding the communication during the interactions with the patients, mainly in clinical settings and, of course, other healthcare environments. And therefore, pharmacists and their staffs must acknowledge the value of interpersonal communication as an essential element in building trust between patients and the pharmacy community. So there is a need for an improvement of these skills specifically in the field of pharmacy, clinical pharmacy in our country and in our universities as well as the pharmacy students studying at Istanbul Kemal Burgaz University. In the concept of patient-centered care communication, it is emphasized that pharmacists' communication with patients can be best achieved through improving their active listening skills, ability to display empathy, and certain degree of professionalism, building rapport with the patient, and being aware of ethnical diversities, in other words, cultural awareness. To achieve the implementation of communication skills course and its goals, a step was taken at Istanbul Kemal Burgaz University in 2015 academic year spring term. A communication skills course within the frame of patient-centered care approach was decided to be given to Istanbul Kemal Burgaz pharmacy students. Improving communication skills of these students and achieving better results in terms of oral communication in health-related environments was aimed by this step and eventually help for the betterment of the patient outcomes in the end was the primary goal of this training. Through the collaboration of the University of Colorado and Istanbul Kemal Burgaz University, the course titled Oral Communication in Health Sciences Practices was adapted from an existing course at SCAC's School of Pharmacy, University of Colorado. As you see on the screen, the first group was giving the training in 2015 spring, and the following year, the second group was giving the same training in 2016 spring and right now we go on with, this, with the third group in this spring semester. An inter-organizational and interdisciplinary approach at Istanbul Kemal Burgaz University, the Faculty of Pharmacy and the School of Foreign Languages Corporation was needed to run the course due to the nature of a communication skills course. Primarily it's being in English language and the requirement for the use and the instruction of effective various linguistic functions as the framework for mainly Indian health services and other highlighted communication patterns. And of course, the implementation of the course raised the question about students' perceptions of their improvement of communication skills in patient-centered care, which is the core component of pharmaceutical care. 
a new concept in clinical pharmacy settings in Turkey. A general comparison of the outcomes of the assessments along with the students' perceptions of the communication skills course given may help visualize this prospective pharmacist's approach and attitude towards multifaceted and multicultural and therefore complex interactions with their patients and the other healthcare providers by using English language in constantly changing ambiguous health related settings. This study was conducted with two different groups of third year pharmacy students taking the course. The participation and attendance to the course was obligatory. The first group comprised 7 males and 22 females whereas the second group comprised 26 males and 23 females, 78 students in total, with a mean age of 21.9. The trained 78 students were handed in a 48-item sur evaluation survey at the beginning and in the end of the course. The data was collected from the course expectations part, part 3, and the comment comments parts of the post surveys that was for written feedback and a focus group interview 10 students from each group was randomly selected following the training in the last weeks the students responses to these questions on what they think about the course the assessments and the oral communication skills were screened let me briefly give you information about the course we delivered for these two groups. A 30-hour, 10-week course contained two lesson hours of input on the patient-centered care communication and one hour of oral practice session with various case scenarios, verbal and non-verbal communicative uh, skills were practiced in these scenarios where we practiced taking medical history, prescription counseling, self-care product counseling, and motivation counseling. The input sessions were all conducted through active learning strategies and oral practice sessions. These included case discussions, role plays, followed by pair and group assessments. As for the evaluation of the students, there were two oral midterms with a written part for each and three communication assessments. The rubrics used by SCAG School of Pharmacy taking a medical history rubric, counseling on self-care product rubric, counseling on prescription product rubric were used for the evaluation of the students oral communication skills. As you see on the screen, the first group of students completed the assessments through face-to-face -face interview sessions and there was this methodolo methodical change in, the, in this assessment and it was implemented for the second group in the second year in 2016. The second group were given the patient pharmacist case scenarios and they were asked to record and hand in their performances to be assessed by the same standardized faculty. Now let's take a look at the results of the this study. 59 pre and post surveys were gathered from each group comprising 76 percent of the total student number completing the course by the way, student consent was explicit in their completion of this arrays. As you see on the screen, the first data we collected from part 3 was based on the items. I believe this course will help me or helped me improve my oral communication skills in English, learn new terminology and vocabulary for effective communication, gain new perspectives in patient-centered care, increase my career prospects and practice my profession in international settings. 
based on the data from the pre and post, post surveys table 1 shows that students who received the course were mainly positive at the beginning and in the end of the course as it is seen both group of students course expectancy and sense of achievement upon completing the course were high the majority of the students gave 4 to 5 for the items holding the percentages of about 77 displaying a stable positive perception without any dramatic changes before and after the training the data as you see on this on, ta on table 1 shows that the students belief in their learning new terminology and vocabulary for effective communication with a mean of 4.06 gaining new perspectives in patient-centered care with a mean of 3.889 and the courses help in increasing their career prospects with a medium with a mean of 3.93 was comparatively lower prior prior to the training apparently participation in the communication skills course most effectively effectively promoted the students gaining new perspectives in patient-centered care which constitutes the core component of the course provided however there is a decrease in the students belief in their oral communication skills improvement in English as you see on the screen the pre mean was 4 whereas the post mean turned out to be 3.91 and practicing their profession in international settings with the pre mean 4 points and the post mean 3 points 98 that required further investigation The data shown in figure 1 may help e explain the reason for the decline in students' perception of their oral communication skills improvement in English. The language of the all courses delivered at uh, Istanbul Kemerburgaz University. When the student's background in learning English was focused to display the years spent acquiring the language from one year to five years, six to ten years, and ten years and more, it was found that 88% of them have been learning it for over six and more years. The students, therefore, may have changed their belief that the, s the course did not contribute to their communication skills in English at all, since most of them may have already known the introduced verbal communication patterns such as how do you feel today what did your doctor tell you to expect from this medication could you sh please show me how to use this medication and so forth screening the student nationalities may contribute to discover the reasons behind the slight downturn in the means for the last item searched in the survey the course will help me practicing the profession in international settings as you see on the screen, 43 Turkish students consisted the majority of the group, holding 75% of the total student number, whereas the remaining 16 students held 25% of the trainees from various but mainly Eastern, Middle Eastern and African countries such as Nigeria, Iraq, Egypt, Syria, Iran, United Arab Emirates, Bulgaria, the UK and Greece. Subsequent to the training they receive, uh, the group holding the majority may have changed their view that they would never like or have the chance to work abroad in an international, therefore a multinational and multicultural environment as clinical pharmacists. The results of the oral assessments points out an overlap between the, stu the students' sense of achievement in the patient-centered care approach along with various lexical output provided through the course. As the means indicated in the pre and post means of survey, item 2 and item 3, trainees believe 
in these areas demonstrated positive change in parallel to communication assessment grades as you see on the screen. The change in the oral assessment method was implemented in the second year to achieve better outcomes for each skill practice through the course. The statistics on Table 2, as you see on the screen, demonstrates that in contrast to the first group assessed in face-to-face -face encounters, the second group of trainees received relatively higher grades with the means of 74.42 of the former and 86.19 of the latter. It is clear that the assessments over taped video performances contribute to students' communicative skills to a considerable extent. As for the focus group interviews, they were held subsequent to the communication skills course for both the first group and the second group, as I mentioned earlier. The students' answers to the, to, the, to the three questions were listed as and as you see on the screen in table 3, there are some views presented in the focus group interviews and the comments part of the post survey listed here. For example, student 2 says, I didn't like the idea of memorizing all the dialogues and the questions to ask the patient, but now they are all nailed in my mind. And student 3 says, for example, for the video rec recording, we had the chance to stop the record and correct the problematic points and re-record our videos. We had to shoot ourselves for so many times. whereas." Another student, student 4, stated that I still doubt if I will have enough time to introduce myself to each patient, ask all the questions in the correct order when the store is filled with people. So these require our attention. If we take a look at the other group, other responses, for example, student 5 says, I plan to have a private counseling corner for my patients for free, just to inform and follow them up well. This will make a difference. And student 6 says, there was much stress and tension during the oral exams. The assessment method should be the same for future students. It should not be changed. And another student says, I learned a lot of terminology and new vocabulary, but I did not learn anything new for my English speaking skill except for the word pneumonia also on the screen you see the word frequencies based on their appearances in students written comments we have come across the word excellent for five times helpful for two times new for five times role plays three demanding three enjoyable six stressful exams four and thank you for seven times. In a more general sense, we can say that the majority of the students favored the course because of its being motivational, holding interactive sessions and role plays, enabling corrective repetitions and less stressful assessments through video recording assessment method, that is for the second group. However, the improvement in the oral communication in terms of English is not favored as it is seen in the statements recorded in the focus groups as well. And as for the future prospects, we can say that the trainees retained the belief and expectation that the course increased their career prospects, which was good and as i stated in the previous slide they were not positive the course improved their oral communication skills in english so maybe as a step further we may need to redesign the course in the students native tongue
as their belief in practicing the profession in international settings was not favored by the group. Maybe in the future studies, a special attention may be given to the reasons why students rated this one and the first lowered. The communication skills course was effective in improving both groups' communication skills in general. The course introduced the students with new perspectives in patient-centered approach, along with new terminology and vocabulary used in their prospective health-related interactions and environments. The innovative changes as video recorded versus face-to-face -face role plays in the oral assessment in similar courses may help increase the outcomes expected from the trained undergraduates. A further research would be to investigate these trained pharmacy students attitude and perceptions in their future careers as they start practicing real clinical pharmacists. And moreover, some more pharmacy students may be introduced to oral communication skills course within the frame of patient-centered care approach as it constitutes the core paradigms of today's health environments. This will help them equip themselves with the necessary skills to survive in a network of volatile, ambiguous interactions in all health-related settings. So, thank you for listening to my presentation. If you have further questions, please do not hesitate to contact me through the email addresses seen on the screen. Have a good day.